Soon after the COVID-19 outbreak in Ontario, hospitals needed to react fast. Surgeries were resource heavy, costing three times as much as other hospital stays and requiring several medical professionals. Naturally, non-urgent surgeries had to be paused. Just within six months, an 84-week backlog had accumulated. Even under normal circumstances, the lack of consistent staffing has led to negative surgical outcomes globally. To address this, we look to the role of the scrub nurse. They must deliver tools to the surgeon during operation, in addition to more complex duties such as maintaining a sterile environment and making operation-specific preparations. There is an opportunity to automate the repetitive task of tool delivery within the operating room, increasing the overall productivity. This is not an easy task. Previous attempts at automating tool delivery did not achieve commercial success due to difficulties in replicating nuanced aspects of tool delivery and the inability to generalize a solution for the dynamic needs of the operating room. Hello, my name is Ee. Hi, I'm Sean. Hi, my name is Brenna. And I'm Debbie. And under the guidance and supervision of Dr. Stuart McLaughlin and Dr. Brandon DeHart, as well as in collaboration with the Waterloo Robohub Research Facility, we present to you a fully autonomous system for automating tool delivery within an operating room. Its computer vision system detects surgical tools in real time. A sterile disposable gripper performs tactile gripping and handoff safely. And a seven degrees of freedom robot manipulator is leveraged for collision-free delivery. Together, we believe it is a step towards augmenting operating room teams and improving the resilience of surgical procedures. On March 31st, 2021, we invite you to join us in our unveiling of A Helping Hand, The Surgical Assistant.